So we have finished putting down our first layer of paint and it is dry. I think we should take a minute and compare what's on the canvas to what's on the magazines Sounds because they're great. a little different. Right. So you can see some similarities. What we've done is block out large sections of color and um, now we're going to start adding the, the details that we see in the magazine. Okay. Now tell me about that because I'm thinking, okay, there's this white cross hatching here. Mm -hmm. um, and if I do that on my canvas, it's going to go right here. It do I, does go, it need to happen right here? No, you really want to be very loose and free with this. Okay. And you don't want to think too much. So I, I love this chain necklace. Mm -hmm. And I might do it very large over here and then very small down below. So you okay. just move, you can move these elements around. Okay, so it's time to find the little tiny things that I like in here and add it wherever I want. Right, and just follow your instinct and any whim you have. If you really like a certain design, you can put it all over the canvas or just use okay. it in small amounts. Okay. Okay. Where Let's to begin? <laughs> um, I'm going to start. Um, I really like these black jagged lines, so okay. I'm going to start with that. But I don't use a lot of black. I'm going to use a paint's gray. Instead, um, it reads as black, but it's just not quite as dark. And our canvas might start to look more chaotic as we do as we build these layers, and that's okay. We we want that to happen. So we're still working from a place of non-judgment. Okay. And as you're doing this, if there's some accidental um, color mixing or anything like that, just go with it. it d you don't have to stick to the script. You don't have to stick to the magazine cover at all. So we want to welcome any accidental um, happenings on the canvas. OK. And so like, I really I do like that sort of um, crosshatch look. Mm -hmm. But I am really loving the way the pinks work on this canvas. Right. So I think I'm making them, I'm definitely making them pink instead of white. Yeah, and so that's where you're infusing your own creativity mm -hmm. and style, and that's what you want to do. You want to take the magazine cover and make it your own. So you're blending, you know, the, the design elements with your aesthetic, which is great. 